It's a story ABC 27 investigator Kayla Grone broke three months ago. Thanks for joining us. I'm Channing Frampton. And I'm Ava Van Valen. Tonight, only Katie has a copy of a new federal letter looking for answers from the governor and threatening legal action if his administration doesn't respond. If Florida will close its doors to unaccompanied migrant kids remains a question the feds who send these children here are asking the state to set straight. In this letter we obtained, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services wants the DeSantis administration to clarify a series of confusing new state rules for shelters that temporarily care for unaccompanied migrant children as part of a decades-old program. In the letter, the feds threaten Florida with legal action, referring the matter to the Department of Justice if it cannot resolve this amicably. I'm happy that there has been a reaction from the federal government. It lets us see that it's not just us not understanding what's going on and pushing back. Tessa Petit is co-executive director of Florida's Immigrant Coalition, a social justice organization that advocates for immigrant rights. She's responding to a controversial move we were first to expose back in November. That's when we discovered in response to a governor's order cracking down on illegal immigration in Florida and what DeSantis dubbed Biden's border crisis, Florida's Department of Children and Families inexplicably stopped renewing the state licenses of shelters and foster parents here who are federally funded to care for unaccompanied children when they arrive in the U.S. but before they're placed with family or sponsors here. In November, this Sarasota shelter had to relocate nearly 60 kids in its care, half of them 13 and under at the time, because the state didn't renew its license and wouldn't explain why. This place was, for many of those children, I would say for most of those children, the first place they've ever felt safe. So yeah, sad. After the center sued the state, DCF renewed its license last month, but not without issuing new rules for all 16 shelters in Florida that care for unaccompanied kids as part of this federal program. The rules, which won't take effect until next month, include limiting how many children are in a shelter, and it requires the feds give Florida advance notice before any child is sent to the state from the southern border. But what advance notice means remains unclear to us, the shelters, and apparently the feds. While we are open to providing needed information to understand policies and procedures, HHS could not agree to allow Florida to require individualized review in each case before children are placed in a facility, the federal letter states. Immigration advocates agree. What happens to their protection as minor children? What happens to their protection against any form of harassment? And also, how do we not limit access to minors information war in the hands of the system. Critics have called DeSantis's crackdown on kids a political play. They should not be punished because the Sands administration has a grudge on the Biden administration. The governor staunchly defending the move in an exchange with us last month. Why are you bringing kids into this immigration debate? I want our resources focused on needs for Florida kids and the needs we have in our communities. In response to this letter, a governor's spokesperson told us it is under review, so we do not have a response to provide at this time. Adding, it is ironic that instead of enforcing federal immigration law, the Biden administration would threaten legal action against our state for policies that seek to protect Floridians from the Biden border crisis and human smuggling operation. When the feds dump people here in Florida illegally, Florida should not be made to bear the burden of our federal government's lawless open border policies. That does not justify putting thousands of children's lives at risk and also misrepresenting what America is about. If we want to fight as adults, let's fight as adults, but don't include children in our fights. A similar policy was adopted in Texas by its governor last summer, forcing dozens of shelters there to operate without a license. Florida shelter leaders fear if this situation is not resolved, come February, licenses won't get renewed and kids will be forced out. Katie Legrone, back to you.